what is going on everybody it's your boy Grod again and we're gonna be talking we're gonna be looking at my armory and all my loot and then look at some of my classes so hope you guys enjoy this let's get on into it all right we're gonna go to the redeemable loot look okay we first we got two ak-12 professional uh, grade ones we have the theater and the lance so I played with the lance and it wasn't that great Something about it, the hand, like I said, I guess the handling is, like I said, with the handling being reduced by one, and then you can't use anything on the under barrel. I think that's what it's called. Uh, you can't get a foregrip on it or anything, so you, it's kind of hard to keep on target. So that's what, one of the bad things about that. And then we have the AKA feeder, <coughs> the AKA feeder, the AK-12 feeder. Uh, I haven't quite got to use it that much, so. Be expecting me to use that later on and I'll let you know about it and then we have the Dow 27 assaulter and it's not that bad you lose one I think it's, you lose one clip size clip size but you get you gain a mobility so that's not that bad but then you got the Bow 27 of City and Steed which is you already know the class the not classification <laughs> the specs on this so I'm not even gonna bother telling you it it's a great gun and it always will be probably but then we got four SN6 that are enlisted versions and we got the precision the cycled the CMOS and the hammer and for some reason they think I love the SN6 so they keep on giving me them so please tell <laughs> please tell Sledgehammer to quit giving me SN6s I don't want them I'm sorry I don't like it okay now we get the Moore's quick bolt which for some reason is a highly uh, wanted sniper because it has a plus one fire rate so it would be quicker it would be easier for like quick scopers and all that so maybe I don't, like I said I used it a few times I didn't think it was anything special but besides that I think but this brings me to the Moore's Ransacker which is a, the professional version of it I really like the Ransacker I think it's better than the quick bolt and honestly I think it's better than most of the sh the uh my bad <laughs> the moors because like i said it might lose a fire rate but i don't really care for fire rate accuracy mm -hmm. and damage those are two main things that are a good thing for a sniper because you can't really get a kill without really being accurate or damage so what do you expect you want something that can kill like i said if it takes one as long as it takes one shot you're fine like I said, for some reason, the Morris has not been able to give me one shot. But then we got the Atlas 45 Ranger, which I'm probably going to sell because I don't use any uh, secondaries. And I just don't feel like messing around with switching guns. All right. Then it brings, you, we, it brings us to the EM-1 Lil or L-E-L, which is, it ups the damage by one. I like it. It's, like I said, em one's pretty overpowered. Then we got the EM-1 The End, which looks pretty cool. It has pretty good range. And it, like I said, it has a cool little camo on there. See, it looks like a caution symbol, kind of. <laughs> then we got the TAC-19 Uppercut. Then, like I said, I'm not gonna talk about it. There's a gameplay gonna be going up soon, probably, with it on it. Sorry if you hear my chair squeaking. All right, then we got the MP-443 Grok Latitude. Probably gonna get rid of it too, because it's secondary and don't use them. All right, and then you got the Bulldog, Berserker, and Diplomacy. And I've used the Berserker. It was pretty well good. Like I said, it loses a clip size, and I still don't know what that is. But it worked pretty well. Diplomacy, not too great. I <laughs> tried it out, and I just couldn't handle it, and it wouldn't work out for me. All right, and I haven't got to use these two. These two professional links I got. Never really cared for the links, but then again, I might use them. I don't know if I'll use the Kingpin because the stats on it are my ridiculous. All you get is a parabolic mic microphone for with two decreases in damage and accuracy. So it's not going to be much help in my case because, yeah. But this brings us to the PDW Chop Chop, which I haven't used yet and I might use it, but never know. And this, the Eagle Eye, I'm gonna use. I'm gonna try it out with the new patch that they put on the NK-14. And hopefully it's a good, solid weapon. I don't know yet. 
And then we got the IMR Hushed. I like it pretty well. The, you get a silencer, and like I said, the silencer is better than nothing. Because like I said, you can. It's all about stealth mode, you know. But you lose one handling, which is kind of a downfall because handling is a pretty solid, a solid attribute. Then you got the HBR A3 Sport, Cowboy, Raider, and Bear Fist. The Bear Fist I really don't like, I'm sorry. Like I said, I really want the Insanity instead of the Bear Fist. But, like I said, I gotta deal with what I have and, like I said, I just can't stand it. Then we got the ASM1 Sweeper and the Strider. And Strider's okay, like I said, the recoil off the, it recoil, it just, like pops up every time you shoot it no matter what. But it just, it just, it's hard to handle. And then the sweeper, it's a pretty okay gun, like compared to the strider. But I, I still like the, like I said, see, they're both 12 damage, but one has a little more <laughs> oomph to it. So the sweeper may be better than the strider in this case. I don't know. All right, then we got the KF5 Endless and the Breakneck. The Breakneck is a pretty solid weapon, but so is the Endless. I like, like I said, this is pretty cool because oh I'm yeah this is pretty cool because it has little like almost nothing wrong with it besides the fat how the time it takes to reload that's all but then you have the breakneck which is up to fire rate and loses the accuracy which nothing that's nothing that the foregrip can't fix you know and then I got both of the AMR9 uh, Elites, which is the Dynamo and the Pro Pipe. And I really want to use the Pro Pipe because it ups the damage, and but it loses fire rate. But I want to see if it actually does better with the extra damage. So, so yeah. Then we got the two MP11 Elites, which is the Squeaker and the Goliath. And the Goliath seems, I think the Goliath's better <laughs> in all cases than the Squeaker. Because, like I said, this one loses accuracy, it's hard to control, but this one, you lose handling and gain damage, which anything with damage in a close range battle can possibly, like, wreck the heck out of anybody with that three extra damage, but it's just crazy how good it is. Then you got the SA, uh, the SAC 3 Sporter, and I'm not going to use these because I hate them. For, and they just not that good of weapons and they just don't they're not they don't have the killing power I want that's pretty much all I can say about it then you have the EPM3 magnified and I think I can use it or oh, and the logitude my bad but I think I can use these but I don't know if I want to because they're just so hard to use they don't the single shot but I just don't know if I can use them the way I want to. But then we got the meat and potatoes and the XMG death and t yeah death and taxes. And I don't know if I even want to use these because they're the XMGs and they're hard to use. I don't like them and I don't think I ever will. I'm sorry if you do like them, but I don't. All right, and then we have the Mayhem Bull, which which is a rocket launcher, nothing special about it. Then you have the S12 compliant and the S12 Whirlwind. Pretty cool guns. The uh, Whirlwind's pretty good, I guess. The Compliance, uh, I don't know about it. But, like I said, the S12 is kind of underrated and it's probably not as good as, it's not the best shotgun in the game, I can tell you that one. But then you have the RW1 Zeno, ups up damage by two, and you get a good, it, like I said, as long as you're in a good close range battle, you can one shot people pretty easily. Then you have the Atlas 20mm 13 twist, which I still haven't used. You up the accuracy by one and uh, lower the fire rate by one. Uh, I haven't used it, so, but apparently I'm pretty good with it. <laughs> then you have the Ameli Heavy and the Spacer. And I haven't got to use the Ameli. This one, the Heavy, is it ups the damage by one and loses one handling. That's not that bad. I think I can deal with it. But then you have the sp spacer, which ups the fire rate and ups the range, but loses accuracy and handling. So who knows how good that is? I haven't tried it out yet. So here we go. Uh, the crossbow righteous. I never liked it. I don't like the crossbow that much just because the sight is awful. I'm sorry to say it, but it's awful. Then you have the heavy shield nugget, 
which nothing special about it at all, but it's elite. That's all that matters. And then the AE4 Vortex. This gun literally is not my forte. I'm sorry, but it's not my like it's not my deal. I can't do, use it. it. Like I said, if range is not a, range is a good attribute to have, and this don't have it. I'm sorry to people who like the AE4 and think it's overpowered, but it's just not to me. I can't use it, and I probably won't use it. But I think this is gonna conclude our. Oh, one second, my bad. We have some more right here. Yes, we do. Sorry, we have the KF5 Savior, the Tech 19 Haymaker. The Morse Tumbler, the F12 Quiet Time, the XMG Venus and Mars, the Lynx Improved Action, and the MDL Proper, and the MP11 Plunderer. And some, most of these guns, they're not that great. Like I said, the Tumbler's pretty alright. The Haymaker might be cool, but everything else I see here is just, uh, and then maybe the Plunderer. But that's all about all that I can say is good. I can't really speak for most of these guns but I think the proper the MDL is like one of the most pointless guns in the game I'm sorry <laughs> but it is but er, this has been the weapons portion of it I'm gonna post like maybe three videos three separate videos so stay tuned for it and I'll talk to you guys later hope you all enjoyed this once again and peace out